Hey guys, it's Patrick. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to prep your dailies using ShotNotes X and Sync and Link X. So first things first, we need to put ourselves in a place where uh, we can easily see all of the metadata that we need to be able to see to make this process as easy as possible. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Window, we're going to go to Workspaces, we're going to select Organize. And then uh, organize, you know, gets rid of the timeline at the bottom of the screen, which helps in terms of being able to see the entirety of the inspector and being able to see more clips at once. However, it defaults to showing us film strip view, which is not very helpful for what we're doing. So I'm going to come up here and click this button right here. And that switches us over to list view. I'm going to expand this out a little bit. And you can see. We've got all of this beautiful audio that includes multiple microphones and it's got scene and take information and it's got notes from our sound recordist. And then we have all of these video clips from a red epic and we have no scene or take information and we have zero notes. And the really sad thing is that my script supervisor took a really long time to make these beautiful notes, including the shot size, the frame rate, the frame size, which characters were in the scene and whether it was an interior or exterior shot. And she included scene and take information as well as whether the shot was no good or whether it was a circle take. And I would really like to have that information, you know, like here in my scene, shot, take and notes fields inside of Final Cut. So how do I do that? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. That's very thoughtful of you. Uh, we're going to use Shot Notes X. So what does that process look like? Well, first and foremost, I'm going to take this event inside of Final Cut. And in Final Cut 10.3, I can now drag and drop either clips or events or uh, libraries. And in this case, we're going to just drag the event uh, with all of our footage into Shot Notes. My script supervisor has actually taken this document and exported it as a CSV document. So we will now take that CSV document and drag it into Shot Notes. And you'll see that 68 clips were matched with notes. And zero of those 128 clips uh, are without a match, meaning every clip got matched, which is awesome. So I will hit Save XML. I'll save this uh, XML as day two shot notes X. That's fine. And now shot notes is going to ask if I want to go ahead and import that XML file back into Final Cut 10. I do not want to do that. Why? Because it's not enough to add my script supervisor's notes. I had all of that beautiful audio and I want all of that audio to be uh, matched up with my video clips. And so I'm going to use sync and link X to do that. So we'll pop over to sync and link X. We're going to hit open XML. We'll select the XML exported from shot notes. We'll hit open and voila. We'll name the synchronized clips using the video names because what you didn't see is that in the back end, shot notes renamed all of our clips. So we'll use the shot notes namings and we'll use shot notes metadata by uh, adding the video metadata to the synchronized clips. So shot notes adds metadata to video clips, not to audio clips in this case. We want to make sure that that passes through, add video metadata to synchronized clips. We also want to make sure to have checked make multicams in case we have any footage that has more than one camera, which in this particular case, we did have footage that had more than one camera. So we'll make sure that that is checked. We'll hit sync clips and we'll hit save XML file. Let's rename this XML. Uh, shot notes dash synced so that we know that this is the XML, including the synchronized footage. We'll hit save. And here in a matter of moments, we'll select our library, hit choose. And Final Cut is going to import that XML, which will now have our script supervisor's notes, as well as all of the footage uh, batch synchronized through sync and link right here inside of Final Cut. We'll go ahead and turn off our timeline. And you can see we've got all of our synchronized clips this little badge right here in Final Cut 10.3 means that it's a synchronized clip or we have our multicam clips and we can actually see that there are in fact multiple cameras inside of this clip. Woohoo! Amazing, beautiful, all done using time code inside of Sync and Link. We have all of this metadata from shot notes now here. So for example, I'll go ahead and close 
the multicam viewer and then we'll click up here and I'm going to type MCU for medium close up and all of my medium close up shops shots <laughs> all of my shops for MCUs I like to buy them at the store um, all of my MCUs are here I can uh, type in uh, Brino one of the characters in the uh, in the show and all of the shots with Abrino show up. Um, if I want to find all the shots with Terrence, I can do that, and all of the shots with Terrence show up. Check this out, though. I can come over here, and I've got circled MOS VFX, all keywords that were added by shot notes because of my script supervisor. Um, but circled takes, you'll notice there's this nice green line across the top. So anything that was marked as circled now has uh, a favorite on it thanks to shot notes x so i can even without having to go to the circle takes i can go to the, my entire event and instead of hide rejected i can switch over to favorites and you'll now see all of the shots that had been circle takes now have a favorite rating on them and i can see them quickly and easily right here inside of final cut pro 10 which is pretty pretty awesome now we're going to do a little bit of cleanup on our keywords and uh, we're going to create a folder and we'll do that by doing file new folder or shift command n and we'll call this tech and we'll plop our mos and vfx keywords inside of the tech folder that makes for a very lovely day and additionally i know personally that uh, this circled keyword collection happens to also be in this ratings folder and you'll see that no matter which one i select i've got 27 takes in this circled keyword collection and if i click this circled keyword collection i have 27 clips so uh, since nothing changes between those two i can actually just select this one and do command delete it removes that uh, particular copy of the keyword collection and i'm good to go at this point we are ready to start the next part of prepping our dailies